Louisiana is the birthplace of jazz, a mecca for musicians and thriving with culture. But on August 29, 2005, Hurricane Katrina made landfall on New Orleans and the music fell silent. The storm caused levees to break open and Lank Pontchartrain flooded the city. Up to 15 feet of water remained stagnant in the city for weeks and New Orleans lost almost 1,500 lives. Yes, I had to go to Georgia where my mom stays because like, like, it was just very hard just to leave my home, my city, the place I love for a hurricane Katrina, it was just hard. When it was over, we had came back home and they had, they had water all in the house. And we had to take all the water out and we had to get new furniture and all that. Neighborhoods that used to be packed full of people and houses, now um, it's like entire blocks that are just empty. Um, and you know, that's just a, a stark contrast. Um, it, for a while things were really overgrown and whatnot and there was more of the actual um, like debris, you know, and, and da damaged property and whatnot from the storm. That has, for the most part, um, been cleared now. But there's just emptiness in, in neighborhoods that used to be vibrant. But as the waters that once engulfed it receded, the city of New Orleans found new life. Two years later, a snare drummer named Derek Tab opened the doors of the Roots of Music in 2007. The Roots of Music is an after-school marching band program that serves over 100 children ages 9 to 14. Not only does the Roots of Music provide music lessons, it also provides transportation to and from its location in the heart of the French Quarter, academic tutoring, and a meal, all for free. As folks started moving home and whatnot, families that had means were able to provide, you know, that it's to supplement their children's education through private programs and whatnot. So Roots of Music seeks to serve students who don't have the same financial means. We work with uh, low-income families, every student who uh, attends and has to qualify for free or reduced school lunch. And so we just, we just wanted to make sure that the students um, who, who didn't have the same resources still had opportunities to learn about music um, and, and be prepared to, you know, for a high school program. The Roots of Music has been able to provide its services for free by donations from individuals, small businesses, foundations, and corporations. From 2013 to 2014, the Roots of Music received donations from over 30 supporters. You have free transportation, you have free food, you can fed, you have you get free education, free you learn music for free, everything is free. I mean, what is there they could not want? Well we cannot want. Andrew Gordon grew up in the lower ninth ward and lost his home to Hurricane Katrina. He joined the Roots of Music four years ago and says the program changed his life and influenced his passion for music. Roots of Music is basically like my whole life. I mean, I spent like every day, I spent most of my day here, like half a day here and half a day at school and like it's just nonstop practice. During a typical day at the Roots of Music, buses deliver children from over 40 different schools across New Orleans. When they arrive, student volunteers from Tulane University help children with homework. It's common that you know you ask them, do you need help? And they don't necessarily think they need help, but then you sit down with them anyways and you you know you help them and just you know check their work. Um, and if they don't have much school work, you'll um, you know you ask them if they have any tests coming up and help them study for their tests. When Derek envisioned his pro the program, he thought um, a lot about his experience growing up in New Orleans and what music meant to him, and he recalled all of the various barriers to being a musician um, as a young person, um, including getting keeping up with your schoolwork. You know, it's very tempting when you love music to play music all of the time and so you know he had mentors and teachers in his life who really forced him to make sure that his academics stayed on course. After their studies music lessons begin at five o'clock. 
The Roots of Music provides music lessons in percussion, woodwind, brass, and much more. Uh, after the kids are done with their homework assistance portion, uh, they come to my classroom. The, the main class that I uh, teach here is the Fundamentals Program, which is uh, an accelerated intensive program for the kids who have had no experience on an instrument. Uh, they start with me, they spend four months with me, uh, and at the end of those four months, if they have met the uh, prescribed abilities, uh, then they can be promoted into the band. At 7 o'clock, music lessons are over for the day and children line up for a meal. The Roots of Music provides a hot meal for every child five days a week for 12 months out of the year. The Roots of Music marches in about five to six parades each year, including the Mardi Gras Parade. The Roots of Music also gets requests from members in the community to perform at events. Andrew Gordon says he has grown as a musician since he joined the Roots of Music four years ago. It keeps me occupied. It keeps me from like being in trouble, like staying in trouble, like like these other kids. They got other kids like doing drugs and stuff. And like I'm not trying to be like one of them. I'm just trying to be myself. I want to stay occupied. I want to stay active. So even if you don't necessarily end up pursuing music, um, if professionally. We, we believe it enriches lives and it's, it provides an opportunity for kids to meet other students from across town that they wouldn't ordinarily be friends with perhaps um, and, and you know gives them something constructive to work on after school when a lot of times students would be unsupervised otherwise um, and so you know regardless of what they pursue we feel like we're, we're helping craft um, really quality human beings. Nine years after Hurricane Katrina devastated the city of New Orleans, the city has since picked up its baritone sax and continues to grow. And thanks to those at the roots of music, the band plays on.